Howdy, howdy. Welcome. This is the most current truth. This is the uh, updates that we give you on kind of the breaking news stuff that is happening. In this case, uh, with Google Analytics 4, Google has now sent out an email. It looks something like this. Maybe you've already gotten it, where they're basically saying, listen, we're going to configure Google Analytics for you. Here is how I'm reading this. This is like a parent who is frustrated with their kids and they're tired of asking them to clean up their room. So they're basically saying, listen, if you kids don't clean up your room now, we are going to do it for you. And here's a little helpful pro tip. I don't think you're going to like it if they do it for you. Um, so I would never recommend anybody go through, at least currently, most current truth, not recommend that you let Google Analytics just do their own little Google Analytics 4 account. So if you have not yet migrated Universal Analytics, here's what they're going to do, or if you don't do it. So they, and remember, you shouldn't migrate. You really should just rebuild your analytics using GA4 because it is such a di wildly different platform. So what they're coming down to is, is if you don't do it in March, and this is happening in March, so very uh, you know time sensitive here. Uh, if you don't do it, they're going to come through and they're going to start smashing all these things together. Um, so they're taking the old existing data structure you have in Universal Analytics, and they're going to just sort of smash it into GA4 as best they can. They're going to do things like you know taking events you know, anything that's actions is going to, you know, an action is going to become the event name in Google Analytics 4. That's going to screw up a ton of stuff for people. So do not, do not let Google do this for you. Um, this is just, I think, kind of a catch-all thing they're doing for, you know, so they can officially say that everybody's switched over. Um, but you should not let Google do this for you. You should already be using GA4, but if you're not, now is the time to start really jumping on this thing. Um, now, this will happen automatically unless you opt out. So you have to tell them like, yeah, don't do this for my account. So let me show you where to do that. So we have our existing uh, Universal Analytics property here. You go to GA4 Setup Assistant, and then when you scroll down, you see what says automatically set up a basic GA4 property. That's probably turned on uh, for you, for your Universal Analytics account, and you want to turn it off. You have to opt out. So this is something that action is definitely required for you if you don't want Google Analytics 4 just recreated. And what's happening is it's, I think it's going to, it could be a challenge because you might have some analytics accounts like back here. We don't even use this account for anything. So if we come back here, let's see if that's going to be upgraded. See, that would automatically create a new miscellaneous GA4 account for us that we're not even going to need. So, you know, in our case, again, maybe in yours, you might have multiple UA properties, turn them off if you don't want want a GA4 uh, property situated. So here we're going to do this. And again, in our case, we're a little different. We do a lot of teaching. So obviously we have these, but if you've already migrated over, so you've already rebuilt your analytics in the new GA4 platform, you still need to come into your old universal accounts and make sure that you've turned this feature off. Otherwise, Google Analytics is just going to, Google, I should say, is just going to think, well, they haven't created one yet, so we're gonna create one for you. And then you're gonna have to go and delete a bunch of properties. So it could create a ton of busy work for you unless you uh, come through here and, and what we call TBV. You trust but verify, TBV. Um, so come through here and make sure you turn those off. So that is the most current truth uh, about what, uh, you know, again, looks like could be a really helpful email, but um, you know, I'm not so sure that it's going to be. Um, do not let Google do this for you. Um, and uh, obviously, if as things change or this improves itself, uh, we will certainly update everybody as well. But there you go. That is uh, the most current truth. Just as a reminder, if you're not yet a part of the Measure Marketing Academy, you're interested in staying up to date on this stuff, we have free options available for you as well to just get the tools if you want. Uh, but check it out, measure.tips forward slash get academy. With that, thanks again for watching the most current truth and we will see you on the next one. Take care.